Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Do I have some things to tell you? It is currently Monday, following Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, late to you guys. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. I had a very eventful weekend. Uh, a lot of things that were amazing. A few things that were a little um, not so amazing. But yeah, so I'm gonna catch you guys up to that. I just got back from Parsons, Tennessee. Um, had to go to a furniture store. And I'm gonna tell you why I had to go to a furniture store in just a minute. But first, I've done something new with my electrolytes. I've put them in my iced coffee, the chocolate salt. So I usually put the chocolate salt in my hot coffee, but I thought, you know, let's have a change of room. Let's do something new and different. So I put the chocolate salt, I, I did a double espresso, I shot a double espresso and I poured about a third of the packet into the hot double shot, stirred it up so it would uh, dissolve in there. Then I poured it over ice with a little splash of milk in there. And that was really good. I just love that kick of saltiness in my coffee, plus the sweet chocolate. It was just, it was really good. If you guys don't know about Element, they are the perfect electrolytes. They have amazing flavors, including chocolate salt. They are high in sodium, which is great for me. I need that extra kick of salt. I eat a very low carb meat based way of eating. Electrolytes are important for me. I'm also breastfeeding. No sugar added. They're sweetened with stevia. They're just really, really good electrolytes. And as usual, if you go to the link in my description, I'll put it on the screen too. They will give you a free sample pack of eight different flavors, including the chocolate salt with any purchase. So make sure you head over to drinkelement.com slash Nisha. Make sure you go check that link out in my description and tell them I sent you. Now, why did I have to go to a furniture store today? First, let's go to my wonderful Mother's Day weekend. So we went to Steeplechase, which is the horse race in Nashville. And we had a wonderful time. Before going to Steeplechase though, Ken needed a hat. Hats are a big deal, right? I already had my hat. I bought it off Etsy. It was beautiful. I'll put a picture up here. So we went to Hat Works in Nashville. If you're ever in Nashville and you want a beautiful hat, please go check them out. They are amazing. And we got Ken a hat. We got Becca a little Stetson kids cowboy hat. It's so cute on him and he loved it. But when I came out of that store, I was so excited because my mom and dad went with us too and they were in the car with Bonnie because she was taking a nap. I was so excited to show Beckett's hat to my mom that I wasn't paying attention and I fell right there in front of the store and skipped my knee up and I was wearing a T-length dress to the race so but by some miracle it only scratched it up a little bit it did hurt really really bad I got a, a bruise but anyways that was the first hiccup the rest of the weekend went great we went to steeplechase like I said me and Ken had never been we went with a group of people we went we met some new people it was a really good time and it was just fun to get dressed up. I thought Ken looked so handsome. He never dresses up like that. I was, I told him, and you guys tell him too, he needs to dress like that all the time because he is so handsome when he has a really nice outfit on and not just his t-shirt and jeans. Not that he doesn't look hot in a t-shirt and jeans, he does, but he looks very nice dressed up. I, I loved seeing him dressed up, so I'm gonna work on that. So we had an Airbnb, went to bed the next morning, we got up, and went to the Renaissance Fair, which is not in Nashville, but around the Nashville area. I've been going to this Renaissance Fair since I was like 12 or 13. And this is the first time I got to take Beckett. We actually ended up having really good weather. It was pretty muddy, but it was fine. And we had a great time, ate some turkey legs and just walked around. I got some new jewelry. This is, I got some moon jewelry. There's a girl there and I can't remember, Lady Lady Smith, I think is the name of her, her business and she does beautiful silver jewelry. So I got a few things from her. Beckett got a, short, a sword and a shield with a lion on it. We're reading Chronicles of Narnia. I'm reading it to him. We're to the third book so far. That's our bedtime story. We're doing chapter books. He's loving it. So we got the lion because of Aslan. So he's a knight in Aslan's army. So he was just very into it. He had a great time. 
and we got in the car to come home and my friend that watches our animals while we're gone texts me and she's like take your time coming home there's been a we've had an accident in the house with the dog and I was like oh god <laughs> So Carnivore Chris, before I left, sent me a big box of when it had the new flowers in the bag. And I was so excited to show you guys that. Uh, but before I could get into that bag, Lily got into the bags and ate everything. And too much of a good thing is a bad thing. And she had accidents all over the house including the couch. And I'm not saying like a little accident, like I had to go buy a new couch today, accident. So that's why I was at the furniture store today because uh, I, for, I, need, I, needed a new, I need a new couch. We need a new couch. So anyways, I got a leather couch. It's navy, it's, it's fine whatever i had to have a couch and i just i got one that would fit in my house which is you know i'm limited because we have a very small living room living area i wanted something that would be wipeable cloth couches with two dogs and two kids is just i can't do it we can't do it that couch is the couch that i had to replace it's not old i got it a year ago maybe maybe a little over a year not long not long at all and I guess maybe it's been longer than that, but still, it, sh you know, it was destroyed before Lily really put the hammer down on it, but I was just throwing throw blankets over the top, and I had already been talking to Ken about the next couch being leather, and I was so sick of throw blankets on the couch, and I felt like a granny with, you know, plastic wrap all over everything, and so I was thinking about replacing it anyways, but not anytime soon. And <laughs> anyways, it was a very, very eventful Mother's Day. Back home now. Also ran to the toy store because Bonnie's fixing to take off walking and she's pushing chairs around. So I got her one of those toys that I'll show it to you when I get in the house because I got to put it together anyways. <sighs> anyways, welcome back to my channel. And all I did was put the Redmond's garlic pepper salt on top as like a rub. And then I cooked them on 300 for two hours. I think they're done. Will you be having some ribs, Dr. Berry? Doing. Don't video, don't video. <laughs> don't video me. Ooh, juicy. Wow. I think I did a good job on these. Ooh. These are super juicy. Juicy. I'm starving. This homemade barbecue sauce, but it's been put in a, you know, reused, repurposed bottle. It's vinegar based. Maybe I should put an apron on while I eat things because I'm definitely going to get barbecue sauce on this lovely white dress. <laughs> mm. Those are good. <coughs> you may not have any to eat. I may eat the whole wrap myself.
give you some with no sauce so you're not tainted by mine. to not get a drop of barbecue sauce on my dress. Just wanted to show you my outfit of the day. This is a lovely little summer dress from Hollister. True to size, I will link it in the description. I'm just loving dresses this summer. Super girly. Not my usual style, but I'm feeling it. What do you think? This was my Mother's Day present from Beckett and Bonnie. My mom helped them put their little feet and their little hands and make butterflies. How precious is that? I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that button on the way out and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you, mean it. Bye.